but we will see uh, how to uh, divide the complex uh, problems uh, into uh, steps and how to uh, uh, like to design a flowchart depending on the flowchart uh, tomorrow we will be coding that uh, so, uh, so what we have taken is uh, the hangman uh, game so if you go to the website so uh, there will be so if we just uh, every step is important just look at this so okay, we will sure, be going if you are sharing the screen it is not this so here uh, the hangman is uh, the computer has selected some word we don't know what is that word we have to give the input to the computer so that it will be checking uh, whether the letter is in that mm -hmm. word or not uh, and it's like uh, if uh, the we can't guess the word, it uh, this will uh, die. Hello. So I have uh, kept A, and B. C. Kishore, just hope I am audible. Uh, giving. Just line by line, I am going. So if you see, mm -hmm. it's like. So now our uh, it is done. <coughs> So uh, the game is completed. Uh, so if we check the flow, what exactly game, how the game is going. So the game is going when we click the uh, enter user button. Uh, the game started and then uh, the user, uh, the computer selected some word, uh, but we don't know what is that word. It is displaying only the underscores with where we can see how many letters are there. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 letters are there. So, when we need to guess that word by giving a one uh, alphabet alphabet input. So, now so again I have guessed to do very slow. Okay. <laughs> I am guessing randomly. the word valuation but I uh, unable to guess it so th uh, this is like a hangman game so so what we have written is the step by step the process so for any uh, complex problem so uh, it's like a simple problem uh, we can say but it's actually complex problem so here uh, we have started the game and computer has chosen the word we don't know the word. So like computer will display number of letters in the word. It has chosen with blanks. So it has displayed uh, how many blanks are there and ask the user to guess the input. That's the letter we can say. <coughs> So if any one of the letter is matching in, in multiple blanks, it will actually replacing it. So if A is matching right, then it is replacing So again, I match and it will replace So if everything is matching, then we have to display all the like Hello, Kishore. Like when it is checking, then we have to do that. Uh, Hello. With that letter and display. So similarly, it is actually what we are guessing. It is uh, filling the blanks with that letter. So if no, user will lose a life. So it's uh, similar to this. So if we check, what to, there will be seven steps. So we have to guess in seven, seven steps. So we have played the game and we have written the steps what we actually uh, chosen.
so if no uh, so no, our guess is not matching with the letter or in the word computer is chosen so then it is uh, our uh, one of the life is just increasing so we complete the uh, uh, game and end the game so we need to check if all the lines are busy or the user run out of the line uh, like uh, all the hangman got are done so uh, for more understanding Uh, is my voice clear now? Hello? Voice is clear, but uh, right now we are able to see the screen. Hello? Hello, Kishor, I'm not good. Is it not? Uh, someone else can confirm if I'm audible. Yeah. Hello? Sure, I'm out of it. Now, now is let me start again. So, okay, let me go to this again. Uh, so so this is the hangman website where we play the game so it is uh, just i am uh, refreshing it so it's like user is uh, so we are connected single player and unlimited uh, like uh, there is no time limit so it's like uh, uh, i meant to say the computer selected a word we have to guess that word depending on the alphabets I have selected <laughs> so the computer selected testimony but I am unable to guess so my life got ended so it's like the best of process what uh, I, I have defined is so like uh, using the game I have written everything into the best of process so user will start the game Computer will choose a word. Computer will display number of letters in the word in the like blanks and ask the uh, user to guess the letter. Then check if the user input is matching or not. So if it is matching, then it will uh, uh, display the blank with the matching uh, letter. So I if I is matching, so it has displayed it. so we don't know the word we just uh, like guessing it's a guessing game uh, so depending on that uh, here we uh, as of now we are considering this uh, the mechanism but just we are considering only this uh, game mechanism so now going back So, so similarly, uh, uh, what it is doing, if it is matching the letter what we have guessed, it is replacing that uh, blank with the letter we are uh, displaying. If no, uh, it is actually what it is doing. It uh, the seven uh, steps of uh, hang hanging. It is it will uh, this hangman will die. So again, I am guessing. So it got died up unable to check. Uh, 
uh, so unable to get this again. So it's uh, depending on very hard. So so similarly, it's like the logic, the steps is uh, like this only. So so either the uh, game should end, either we need to guess all the letters correctly, or user should run out of the game, like uh, run of the lives and end the game. So here, uh, so generally uh, this is the uh, understanding what we have written in the steps. So how to draw the flowchart depending on the steps, right? So first we have to define the problem and ident identify the steps. So again, <coughs> it's important that we have to define the steps depending uh, how the process will flow. So generally the user stories we have to understand very uh, carefully. So in IT, uh, so to design anything or uh, to automate or uh, to develop anything, we have to uh, uh, have the knowledge and we have to uh, uh, convert it into flowcharts. So fl why flowcharts is like the flowcharts are very useful to define the uh, writing a program depending on the boxes we use. So, so now I will go to this website tryo.com. So here we have multiple things. So uh, once I start, so I am creating a new diagram. So here there are multiple diagrams, but I want a flow chart. So here, hang underscore demo. Here we have multiple like PNG, HTML, just I am using a draw.io. So now when I click create. So generally it has uh, created uh, the basic uh, flow diagram. But we what we will do is we will create from our steps what we have defined here. So I am not going one by one, but I am going to the steps what we have defined. So user will start the game. So generally in flow flow chart, what happened? So there will be oval shape where we do start and stop. So here start. Then I just am copy pasting here. Just So stop R end. So just uh, what I did, uh, I have removed everything. So. Uh, the starting point and the end point I have given. So the next step would be so generally we use a rounded rectangle for any process to be done. So here oh, what the uh, is like computer will choose a word. Instead of computer uh, we can write a program choose a word. choose your order randomly. So next step similarly we will use so next what it should do 
it should display flags next it what it should do again so this is as per our understanding we are just uh, defining so so now it should ask user input or we can say ask user to guess the letter so now this is a sequential execution so now here uh, the decision comes right so now what uh, it's like uh, everything is uh, going well there is no decisions to make here to check user input is matching with any of the letter chosen or not so the program or the computer should check whether the user letter guest is matching with one of the letter in the uh, computer chosen node so so for decisions this is the uh, like we can say uh, rhombus we use this for decision box so, um, so here guest input matching with letter letter in word so maybe we can just expand just so again uh, these are two conditions right whether it is uh, if s uh, then we then what it should do so we will go to a rectangle so just I am scrolling down so it's like uh, s or no i'm doing so it's like we connect uh, can So yeah, it will take some time just to do the anglings. So, yeah. so here we can yes. the blank with the matching 
letter so again if no then what it should do and adjust the life of account of user right game life So no. So uh, but again here, but the flow is uh, doesn't uh, end right here. The flow is still going on because uh, it's only for one iteration. Uh, this was done. So whether the user has uh, guessed the correct letter or user has not guessed the correct letter. So if not, we will be reducing the count of the user. Here uh, we will be replacing the, it's, uh, I meant to say, like a letter, we will be replacing the blank value with the letter of the word. So again, so go back to my PPT. So now to complete the end, we need to check if all the, so we have done here. So uh, yes, if no. So it's a decision box. In the coding, if there is a decision box, we should we should go for if else. So again, now I will be taking another decision box. Here, what I will keep? Other all lines are. So similarly, here there will be another decision. User life got exhausted. So here now I am connecting it. So now uh, whether here there will be again two inputs right like two decisions either it is S or it is no. So if it is S then Uh, actually we should uh, from here I need to take yeah so we can just bend it uh, like so for nice visibility Yeah. 
no, just I am giving text as s. Here also, if you like, we can mention here itself. But uh, if these are not fulfilled, this condition is not fulfilled, right? We have to give the again the user to guess the input. Similarly, if we user uh, the next uh, I mean to say, if one uh, life card exhausted, then we need to give the user again to guess the chance. So this condition, if it is no, we will be we will be doing. If it is no, the condition but true or false we can say. If the condition is not satisfied, then we will again going back to the user to guess the output. So similarly also here. Maybe I need to just adjust. So now, uh, generally, what we will be doing, we will be connecting it out.
So we have done with our flowchart. So depending on that, so if there is a, a, a decision state decision boxes, then we will be using if else conditions. So th these are actually the loops. If you see properly, so this is uh, it is going back again. So this is loop. So so uh, we so an understanding so when there is a uh, like this loop so in our programming also we should we are going to use one of the loop concepts so decision addition concepts like conditional statements if else if and normal executions like uh, randomly depends on uh, like random uh, user inputs and how to use different different concepts this you can actually share or you can just save it or save it as so for the reference purpose you can save it as a html file if you save it as html file it is easy you just So by using this reference, it is very easy to code uh, if you know the basic concepts and then uh, it will be easy for us. So for any uh, problem, we, we should have flowchart so that it will be very easy for us. So you can just uh, note down on uh, our paper or our book also. but. Uh, using this uh, it will be uh, like uh, digitally saved and then you can refer it anytime in uh, if you are saved it in drives also you can the uh, here it will have save it in drive or save it in uh, uh, like uh, one drive or save it local there will multiple options also we can set it up when you are uh, just uh, like when you open for the first time it will ask for that where where i have to save the so try to do this it's uh, okay we can just actually adjust uh, so maybe by practice you will you will so now we will be going to Tony so it's like a free simple editor uh, I meant to say uh, it's very lightweight editor and it is uh, mainly for beginners so it's set tony.org you will have like Windows Mac and uh, Linux so it will be, it can be used in any of this uh, I mean say OS versions so so I have downloaded and installed it. So it is like only, I think 20 MB. I think it's. Yeah, 20, 20 MB, around 22 MB. So it's very lightweight. So the, uh, one of the feature is like you don't need to install Python at all because by default Tony will install the Python interpreter also in that so it's like very easy for us so there are multiple elements to say uh, why we have to use so we can a uh, debug code or deb code one by one and we will see uh, uh, there are multiple features like uh, if I want to debug uh, the code, so here there will be debug current script. So now, so now it went uh, here. So it's like step by step. So uh, now it went. So it went into this loop. 
so and any issue we got it will like uh, because it's for loop it is just checking directly so if you see input number is 100 and uh, what we have to find the number is 100 like number will get incremented right uh, because of the range function it uh, starts from 1 to 100 101 So again just I am running it. So it's very simple interface, so very useful. So here we can have multiple like uh, we go so if you want to install packages directly you can uh, search for like here you want to install pandas. So you can just and click install. It will directly install like GUI version. So we can uh, even configure our own interpreter if you are already using uh, uh, interpreter like already installed python now you can just uh, uh, point it to that interpreter as of now it is using uh, what are the default tony python.exe so if you want to use anaconda i can configure that as well here So even view we have only uh, given variables like heap is like uh, uh, like the ID what we have defined okay So this address at this address, uh, this value is stored. So what we already seen like by giving ID of number, right? So uh, this is for any memory purpose. Uh, debug, uh, debug. It is very useful. So Tony is useful for micro Python, like for micro control programming, also. So it support micro Python also, like uh, actually. <coughs> The micro Python is used for uh, programming in microcontrollers, so it is like uh, embedded system programming. We can say so. Generally, it will be uh, you know, there will be embedded C, but uh, now as of nowadays, there are, there is micro Python as well. So where we can uh, directly use uh, Python to write the code for microcontrollers. So this is the So this is one of the like uh, very easy to handle and very uh, there are very useful features we, we will be having. So uh, even the PyCharm and Spider is having multiple more features, but this is actual lightweight and uh, whatever we require for debugging or and running scripts and checking the variable values. So everything will be there so it don't take any much of uh, your space also and then even PyCharm it's like 1.7 GB so it's, it's like 20 MB so yeah if you have any space concerns then we can use this plugins also to depending on our requirement we can use the multiple plugins it's like manage plugins you can go to this plugins what are the plugins you can need it you can type and search multiple options available but uh, we are not uh, now uh, so as we are saying right now the main uh, thing is like uh, the next part is uh, 
how to visualize our python script what we have written right so how exactly the python script is running and how we are getting out it is very useful if you want to a beginner and if you want to check a line by line execution there is a site called python tutor even from tony also you can directly uh, open that so here we will have option visualize current scripted python tutor so if i click on that so now this uh, python uh, password generator is we have already written right so i am just opening this so now it loaded so now i am checking on the first step it uh, said random so it's like it's a module instance so we have that import random it's a module instance now i will be giving how many letters so i want six letters submit so now it's saying user password letters its value is 6 this is a variable name now i want three symbols so it is user password symbols 3 now i want again four uh, numbers so now it is having four numbers so now it is steps so let's see one by one like next so letters list it is uh, displaying the letters list what we have defined here now we see numbers list what we have defined and then symbols list and we are creating an empty list for password so it's saying it has the password list uh, variable is created as empty list so now for first character password list is getting with appended so what we have seen the list got appended with y so it, uh, it has chosen any letter from the letters list then again so because we have given six times uh, six uh, six characters right six uh, like six letters so again if you see the uh, right side the execution is going and then again the for loop is coming back now the 6 completed like uh, 0 1 2 3 4 5 because index starts from 0 so it is like 6 letters so the character 6 completed now symbol starts from 1 so we are appending in the same uh, password list so three symbols now it uh, went into okay so i have to write number here i i have used the same again so now i just printing password list so this is the password list what we have now it will shuffle so if you see it got shuffled so now another it came at this point so like we have defined a password as empty string so now what we are doing we are converting password list to character by concatenations so for every character in password list so it is adding one by one if you see the password list So th this is how the execution completes. So it's like very useful, like uh, to check uh, how the execution is, is going in Python. So it's not only Python; it supports like various JavaScript, C, C++, Java. So you can use any any one of that. And uh, 
coordinates. I used instead of single I need to write number. Visualize execution. So maybe if I this time again running to on so like depending on the uh, uh, user inputs, the steps cost uh, before it's like sixty nine because it. I have to loop for multiple times. Now I uh, adjust the numbers. So now if I just uh, click on this time, so if you see character five character symbol two symbols number one for password. So the last character is this one. So yeah. So you can visualize any any anything. Uh, it's very useful. I meant to say. Or uh, maybe if I want to open any. Uh, pop up or scissors game. Again, I want to visualize this. Here it's uh, random. This is a module instance, import random. Then so here what we have defined it's showing all this ASCII images what we have stored in the list format so it is asking for uh, scissors I am giving scissors so users must <laughs> What it will do? I'm taking choice one. So it is checking the conditions what we have defined. So here it has provided sort. So user scissors, but uh, computer choice is paper, so scissors win against paper. So this is the output what we have. Yeah. Any questions? I think we are done for today. This is what uh, we want to cover for today.